everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another How to Build video where I shoot about cool stuff inside of Minecraft. And in today's video, I'm showing you guys how to build an undetectable bunker for your Minecraft survival world, or if you're just like me and you have a big redstone world for your Minecraft redstone world as well. Now, right behind me is my undetectable bunker. Can you notice where it is? I'm sure many of you have already noticed it because there's only one sunflower on the map. Yes, you do need a, some sort of landmarker for this thing. Unless you have very, very good memory, you do need some sort of a landmarker or else you will lose this thing. So if we come right over here to our sunflower, stand one block right in front of it, look over to the right and then throw an item down right here, we will be pushed into our secret bunker, our underground undetectable bunker. <laughs> and as you see, I took absolutely no damage from it. You take no damage while falling into the bunker. And then of course, we can go ahead and take out our flower again as well. Now I have three redstone contraptions that go together with this survival bunker. I have an auto armor equipper for us. I have an on and off nether portal, and I also have a semi auto farm now the on and off nether portal works on all platforms that's absolutely fine however with this farm you're gonna have to change up a few little things for uh you know xbox one ps4 ps3 xbox 360 console edition pretty much uh but pocket edition better together windows 10 this should work fine so let's go ahead and start looking at all of our redstone contraptions and you know i just have other normal things that you'll have inside of maybe your minecraft bunker you know you want an enchantment table of course you want an area to brew stuff an infinite water source furnaces and all that goodies all the goodies so let's go ahead and do the auto armor equipper first and i I hate my skin when you put armor on it. I absolutely loathe my skin when you put armor on it. Because look at my face. Ready? Watch my face. So I'm going to flip down my auto armor equipper in. Ready? Oh, it's so gross looking. <laughs> I turned from a... Ra it looks like ha my face was just chopped in half because of that. It took away my nose and my antlers. And I just don't like that. <laughs> but as you see, we got auto armor equipped. And then when we're ready to throw our armor back in, all we have to do, you know, just take off our armor. Let's so I just skipped ahead and put all my armor back into my hotbar. So when we're ready to put our armor back in, all we have to do is make sure that light is on by flipping up our lever. And then just take your items and throw it right at this block like that. And there we go. And now all our armor is back in there ready to be equi equipped again when we're ready to go out and fight. Now this on and off nether portal is really cool because like I said, it works on every single edition of Minecraft. It should work on every platform just fine. It's only too wide, so this thing's very, very simple to make. So to turn it on, all we have to do is click this button. Our nether portal comes on. And then when we click this button, our nether portal will go off now the reason why i've made an on and off nether portal because of course your base won't be undetectable if you can hear another portal nether portals are really loud so you know you'll hear like saws going off and you'll hear a lot of noises basically with this thing so it's good to have an on and off one and then next up we have just a semi-auto farm that i placed in here this is the only thing that changes but like i said between uh you know pocket edition to console and things like that so right now all i did was i uh, used to uh potatoes <laughs> so you know i'm gonna try to turn five potatoes into more potatoes so right now i have 64 and 38 in here so i have to do now is just flip down this lever this thing will go back and forth come over here and just place in our potatoes like this so one two three four and five like that and let's see did we get any more potatoes in here and yes we did as you can see our potatoes have gone up drastically at least i'd say almost about 20 more potatoes but there is the entire secret underground undetectable bunker <laughs> inside of minecraft and then once we are ready to leave like i said you can take your flower you can leave it in here it really doesn't matter but once you're ready to leave just come down here click this button and we'll get popped right back out of our bunker like nothing is there and then we can go on our way all right guys so let's get started on this tutorial all right guys so to get started off with this undetectable bunker you're going to need a nine by nine spacing and you're also going to have to dig down six so you know pause the video here dig this out all right guys so to get started off with our bunker we are now going to fill in our walls once you got your nine by nine spacing i'm going to be making mine out of obsidian because it feels more like you know like a secure bunker when you make it out of obsidian if you want to fill the whole thing with obsidian you can absolutely go ahead and do that as well because it like i said feels more of a bunker because bunkers are normally like you know eight feet of concrete to protect you from like nuclear fallout <laughs> so what we're going to do is start off by placing in our walling with obsidian you can like i said you can use any color you want so just go around the whole outside of your nine by nine with your walling of choice don't go all the way to the top because of course we're going to be making the top color whatever you're hiding this thing with like that and then i'm just going to go ahead and quickly go through the rest of my wall all right guys and i'm back and i placed in my entire wall filled with obsidian and now we can go ahead and fill in our floor with whatever color we want i'm just going to go with dark oak wood and of course if you want to if you want to make this whole entire thing obsidian and just completely bunkered out you can go ahead and do that but we are going to be adding redstone in as well so then you're gonna to have to put obsidian around all your redstone and all all that good stuff as well so basically once we have our floor and our walling into place we're gonna do our entrance first of course that's going to be the way we you know get in and out of our bunker so to do that all you have to do is go off any one of these sides it really doesn't matter i like going straight off the middle you could change it up a little bit if you would like to it's completely up to you how you build your bunker but i'm gonna be going right here off the front 
and right out the middle because this should be a complete seven by seven spacing there should be an actual middle to your entire bunker as you can see it goes three that way through that way through that way so i'm gonna go this way right into the middle of it and i'm gonna dig into my bunker three blocks so one two and three like that and this is where we're gonna get launched out of our bunker so now we can go ahead and just dig out this area a little bit because we're going to need to open it up for some redstone so i'll be right back i'm just going to dig out this area a tiny bit all right guys and i'm back and now it's time to get started up on some of this redstone as you can see i dug out a little bit but remember we just have to come in three blocks so one two three just like that go out three blocks from the side of your bunker and then on the third block right here is where we're going to be getting launched out with our slime block launcher so basically we're going to dig down two blocks place a sticky piston facing upwards put a slime block on top make sure this block is an obsidian block that's just so the slime block doesn't stick to it and then right here is where our button's going to be going to launch us next up we're going to place a repeater coming out of the block with the button right here off to the right hand side on one tick delay with a block in front of our repeater Next up, coming out the backhand side of this block over here, we're just going to come out three pieces of redstone from this block. So one, two, three. And then we're going to dig out two blocks right here. One, two, place two repeaters down here and set them both to four ticks delay. The reason why we have to come out this far is just because on console like Xbox One, PS4, Xbox 360, the four tick delay repeater can update the piston. And we don't want it to update it. We want to keep it on that eight tick delay right there. So now this should be working right here. So if I stand on top of my slime block, I should get launched into the air so boop our slime block is working so now what we have to do is make it so we have an opening for it to get in and out of our base so next up right here off the block in front of this one tick daily repeater we're gonna have to take out some redstone torches for this part so go ahead and just take out some redstone torches and we're gonna place a redstone torch right off the top of this block then we're gonna place a block on top of the redstone torch and then another redstone torch off the side of this block a block on top of the off redstone torch with another redstone torch coming off the side of that block as well then going into the block with the redstone torch, we're going to place a redstone comparator in, just like that. Next, I'll place a block right here, and then place a hopper going into the top of that block. So now when I throw an item inside this hopper, as you... So now once we throw an item inside this hopper, as you can see, the comparator comes on, and then if we take the item out, the comparator will go off. Next, I'll place a block right here next to this one, and then place a repeater coming out of that redstone torch on one tick delay. Place a block up in front of your repeater, and a block to the left-hand side of that one. And then coming out of the block that our repeater is going into right here, we're going to place another repeater coming out of it and set that one to three ticks delay. Next, place a block up in front of that three tick with some redstone on top of it. The redstone should come on. Take out your sticky pistons and place two sticky pistons right here. One, two, they should both extend out. Next up, place a sticky piston on the bottom one facing upwards like that. It should extend up. And then we're going to go ahead and take our top block. Mine's going to be, of course, grass. And we're just going to place a grass block on top of that. All right, guys, so all the redstone's done. All we have to do is just add in a chest, a few blocks, and then we can go ahead and test it out. So come right over here to underneath your hopper and just place in a chest like so. That will let the item funnel down into our chest once we throw it at it. And now all we have to do is just fill in a few more blocks so we don't get pushed out of it. So just take out your blocks of choice, and I'm going to be placing an obsidian block right off my extending piston, and then another one right next to it just like that, and then my grass block can go right on top of it. And then right behind it, off our sticky piston right here, we're going to place one more grass block in like that. But now we can go ahead and test it out. So come right over here where your hopper is, throw one item at it, and we should fall into it. So boop, like that. And we should fall into our secret base. Boom, we are down in our secret base now. Perfect. And now to get out, all we have to do is click the button, and we should now get launched right out of it. Boop. So you guys have it. You have now built your entrance to your hidden bunker. And that cow is getting deadly close to this build. And I don't want to hear him mooing. So we can go ahead and now clean this area up. Because our entrance is now completed. And then of course we can come down here. And then just fill up this as well with our blocks of choice. So we don't see any of this. So I'm going to fill this in right here. This in right here with obsidian. I'm going to have to switch over that block right there as well. If you saw it. Uh, a few more blocks right here. There. There. And um, um, this block right over here I'm going to have to switch. I can't. I can't. <laughs> if I see that orange block there forever it's going to annoy me. So let me just fill in with some blocks of choice here. And then I'm going to have to come over to this side. And fix this over here. So right where this block is we're going to switch this one. And this one to obsidian city and boop boop just like that and there we go perfect and then we're gonna fill this in there we go there we go and there it is everything is now filled in and guys i almost forgot there's one more thing we need to do just one more thing we need to put a hopper dropper minecart off the top of our hopper so you know if i open this up right here this is where our redstone is we just have to put a hopper minecart right on top of this hopper right here i almost forgot that so basically just place a block right above it and now what we're gonna do is just take out a rail like that and we're also going to need a hopper minecart so minecart with a hopper there we go place our rail right above it 
place our minecart with a hopper, break the block, and let it fall into place. Next up, just take out your blocks of choice, place them all around your minecart, because we don't want that minecart moving at all ever. There we go. And now all we have to do is just push this block into it. So basically, just take out a piston now and some sort of power source. So piston, we go, place it right here, and then just send power to it. Boop, like that. And there we go. Now everything is completely done. So let's just go ahead and test it out one more time. So if I come right in here, click my button, I'll get launched out of my undetectable bunker. And then when I'm ready to leave, well, go back in, I should say, I just left. <laughs> when I'm ready to go back in my bunker, just throw an item here and I will fall down into my bunker without taking any damage. So there we go, guys. All right, guys, so the next bit of redstone I think we should tackle is the on and off another portal. Now I'm gonna be putting mine right over here to the right of my exit to my bunker. So I'm gonna come right over here and this is where I want my nether portal going. So we already have the obsidian there from my walling. So basically, you're just going to have to place in an obsidian walling like that so you can turn on and off your nether portal. Then over here in the backhand side, we're just going to dig out these few blocks. I'm going to go ahead and place in a dispenser right here and right here. Make sure it's a dispenser, not a dropper. And then we can just go fill, go ahead and fill in the rest of the back with our obsidian blocks. Next up, I'm just going to come back here and dig out a little bit. Like I said, this whole thing is only about two or three wide. So it's not really going to take out much room. It's not going to take up much room of your, your uh, entire base. So basically, we're just going to dig out this area now. All right, guys, and I'm back, and I just went ahead and dug out a little bit back here. We're not going to be using all this spacing. That's a lot of spacing. I just did this so we could see it a little bit better. So we're going to start off with our off function for another portal. That's going to dispense the water out to break our another portal. So that's going to be that dispenser right there. So basically what we're going to do is come off the left-hand side of our blocks right here and place a piece of redstone on top of that block with a sticky piston facing downwards right underneath it. Then right next to our dispenser we have right here, we're going to take out an observer block. So I'm going to quickly go ahead, run through this and get myself an observer block. There we go. And we're going to place our observer block facing inwards towards that dispenser. So you should be able see that little red dot right there. That should be facing towards your dispenser. So I'm going to place it in like this and you'll hear my dispenser run off. I'll do it one more time. Boop. As you heard, the dispenser went off and then go ahead and place a block right below that dispenser. Next up, swing back to the top, place another piece of redstone next to that redstone, take out your repeaters, and place a repeater going into that redstone, set it to three ticks delay. Next up, come down a block from that repeater and place a sticky piston facing upwards, like so. Take out your observer blocks once again, make sure that little red dot is facing inwards towards your repeater, and place it right on top of your sticky piston. And that's going to be the entire off function for this thing. So if we place in our water bucket inside of our dispenser now, so water, but come on water bucket inside dispenser. There we go. And then now what we have to do is just take out a button. And we're just going to place a button right here off this second block, click it and boop, the water comes out and then the water goes away. I'll do it one more time. Water comes out, water goes away. And that's going to turn off our nether portal. Now for the on portion, which is way, way, way easier. We're just going to place a button right underneath it. Swing back to this side. Just literally place a block right here underneath the sticky piston like this. A block out and a block up like that. And that's it. And then just go ahead and place redstone here, here, and here. And that will turn on your nether portal. So go inside this dispenser. Place in some flint and steel. And then once we click the button, boop, comes on. Click it, this button. It will go off on and off perfect all right guys so now that we got our nether portal done we're gonna go ahead and do our semi-auto farming system this is the only one that changes a little bit between x you know the console editions and pocket edition windows 10 and all that but i'll show go ahead and show that so basically i'm gonna be doing the better together version first so we're gonna come over here to the right hand side now of our nether portal over here and we're just gonna come in three blocks one two three right here and then we're just gonna dig in here two blocks one two just like that Next up, once you dug in your two right here, we're going to take out some hoppers and we're going to place a hopper going into our flooring block right here and another hopper going into this hopper right behind it like this. And then right in front of the hopper right here, we're going to break this block and just place in a chest here. So I'm going to go just run over here real quick and get a chest and then just drop it in right here. So now when I throw my items over here, bloop, it will funnel down into this chest. See, funneled all the way to this chest. I'll do it one more time. Boop. It will funnel all the way to this chest. Now, if you are on Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS4, you can go ahead and just place your grass block right above it and then till it. You're absolutely fine. However, if you are on the Better Together update like I am right now, we are going to have to place in a hopper, uh, a minecart with a hopper right above this to make it work. So we're going to need a minecart with a hopper, and we're also going to need a rail. So place in your rail right above it with a minecart with a hopper. Break the block. Let it fall into place. And now we're going to go ahead and take our dirt block, or you can use grass block, really doesn't matter, but we are going to need a dirt block for this. Place your dirt block right next to it, and then just push that dirt block into the minecart with a hopper. So I got my piston and my lever, so we'll just place the piston right next to my dirt block, and then just send power to it like that. So like I said, if you're on, you know, Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS4, PS3, you don't 
need that minecart with a hopper. You don't need that minecart with a hopper. Only people on the Better Together update need that. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this up right here real quick. Next up, we're going to go ahead and take out some dispensers. Make sure they're dispensers. Come right here and face three of them inward. So one here, one here, and one here. And that's what's going to be shooting out our bone meal to make this thing work. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and just dig out a little bit right above it. All right, guys, and I'm back, and I just went ahead and dug out a little bit right above this entire thing, and we're going to just place some blocks right here and right here. Next up, we're going to take out some redstone and just place redstone above all our dispensers and blocks just like that. It makes like a U-shape like so. Then off of the right-hand side over here, we're going to go ahead and place in a redstone comparator off the side with some redstone in front of it right here, and then go ahead and tick up that comparator just like that. Then right behind this redstone comparator on this side, we're going to place a lever off the block that's going into our comparator. So now when I flip down the lever... As you can hear, our dispensers will start ticking over and over again forever. And then when I flip it up, it will turn it off. Next up, we're going to go need a sticky piston for this part. So take out a sticky piston. And we're going to place a sticky piston one block away from this dispenser right here. Like that. With a block in front of it. Then up here, make sure you have redstone going into that sticky piston by coming over one like that. And now that should make that piston go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So there we go. Perfect. Next up, we do need a water source for this thing. So I like to break out this block right here underneath the dispenser. And we're going to place in our water source and then just place a block in real fast so it doesn't go all over the place. So place in your water, place in your block. And there we go. Now that has an infinite water source right next to it. Go ahead and take your hoe out and go ahead and till the ground. Next up, you can go ahead and place a block right here to hide everything up. And now if you see if I throw an item right here, it'll go into my hopper dropper, funneling down into this chest right here. All right, guys, so everything is almost done. Now, all we have to do is just place a block right here above our till dirt block like that. And now just go ahead and fill every single one of our dispensers with bone meal. So just take out a bunch of bone meal and place it in every single one of your dispensers like this. There we go. Boop. Perfect. All right, guys, so now we can go ahead and test this thing out to make sure everything is working. So flip down your lever, come over here, take out your potatoes or whatever you want to grow, and then go ahead and place it in here and just, you know, just keep pretty much placing them in over and over again and let's see how many potatoes we got so as you can see this thing is working pretty well so let's go ahead and flip up the lever and turn it off now of course like i said there's going to be a few different changes for the xbox one you know 360 ps3 and ps4 edition basically what you want to do is we're not going to have our redstone just going off to the side to this uh sticky piston over here we're going to break this and we're basically going to come out over here on this side one more now this is only for xbox 360 xbox one ps4 console edition piece basically for console edition people then we're gonna have a repeater going back towards our uh comparator right there place in redstone behind this and the repeater and some redstone in front of it just like that then we're gonna come over here to where our sticky piston is right here and come down a block like this and place in a repeater going into it on four ticks delay and now that should actually fix it now this one will not work on the better together as you can see this will not go back and forth this is only for console players you know 360 xbox one ps4 and ps3 that should fix it for you all right guys so now that our semi auto farm is done we can go ahead and do our auto armor equipper now i like to put mine right in the middle of the floor i have a seven by seven spacing for this bunker so right in the middle it should fit perfectly so right here is my middle so I see three that way, three that way, three that way. Perfect. So we're just going to dig down two blocks in the middle. One, two. Take out a dispenser and place a dispenser facing upwards right there. Next up, we're going to place a slab right on top of that dispenser right here. And then right off the front of it, we're going to dig down two blocks once again. And then going into the side of that dispenser, we're going to need a hopper. So go into your list and take out a hopper. There we go. Go into sneak and or crouch mode and then put in a hopper right off the side of that dispenser. So now whatever items we throw into that hopper will go into our dispenser off to the side of it. Next up right above it, I like to use a lamp for this part too, just so we can remember that it's on and off. You don't have to do this, but it just helps you remember if your auto armor equipper's on or off. So right above it, we're just going to place in a hopper with a minecart. So place a rail, hop over to minecart, break the block, let it fall into place right on top of the hopper. Next up, all we have to do is just push a block into that minecart with a hopper so we can no longer see it. So I like to use a redstone lamp because it'll just indicate that it's on and off. You do not have to do that, but I feel like it helps a lot just in case you don't remember which way your lever is facing. So let's take out a piston and then we're going to push that redstone lamp into it like that. Perfect. There we go. And we can go ahead and break that right there. Next up, just place your lever right on top of your lamp. We no longer need our lever. So now that will indicate when it's on and off. So, you know, right now it is off. And then when I flip it down, that means it will equip the armor to us. That means it's on. Next up, we just got to do a little bit of redstone. So we're just going to dig out this area right over here a little bit like this. There we go. And then coming out of our dispenser, we're going to take a redstone comparator and face it outwards like that. Place a block up in front of your comparator. A block to the side and place a piece of redstone right here. It should come on due to your comparator. 
and then place a repeater coming off the side right here and place a piece of redstone into your comparator and you see it's going on and off right now because i actually have items in here so let me quickly go ahead and take those items out and that should turn it off next up we're going to place a piece of redstone over here to the right of this block and then place a repeater coming out of it on one tick delay and that's it guys it's completely done so now what we have to do is just hide up all of this redstone there we go and then we go ahead and test this thing out so flip it up to make sure it is off and now all we have to do is just take out some armor so i have all my armor so now all i have to do is just throw my armor into it so one two three four five and if you want to add one more thing you can it can hold up to six items but now let's go ahead and go into first person well third person i should say flip this down and boop 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 and man i can't stand what it does to my face I just look horrible, but there you guys have it. There is the auto armor equipper, and then, you know, flip it up and just throw your items back into it when you come home from adventure. But that's it, guys. All the redstone's done, so now you can make your bunker whatever you want. You can turn it into whatever you want, but if you want to build it the exact same way I did, we can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to just take out some obsidian and grass, and what I want you to do is just fill in the ceiling. Now, you know, first, you know, fill in your grass, and then fill in your obsidian afterwards. So I'm going to go ahead and just speed through this. All right, guys, I'm back. I just went ahead and put in my ceilings. Now I'm going to go ahead and take out some sea lanterns. And I like to place a sea lantern off every corner like this. There we go. Just give it a little bit more lighting inside of here. So there. And what's going on? Oh, I have to come out one right here. There we go. <laughs> so just to give it a little bit more lighting. Now we can go ahead and do our enchantment table and bookshelves. So I like to just place mine over here in the corner. And then just dig out this wall and add some bookshelves right along it. Just so we can get that level 30 enchantment. So there we go. Put some books here all along this entire wall go come up one more right there and one more right here there we go and then we just got to come out two on both sides so one here like that and one here like that and that should give you your level 30 enchant so if i come in here boop there we go i have my level 30 enchant right there perfect now we're going to come over here and we're going to put in an infinite water source for ourselves so if we ever need to brew anything so we're going to need of course a water bucket i always get confused there because on the better together as you can see there's a little water bucket next to the bed but the water buckets aren't in there with it so it always messes me up so they got these three blocks right here i like to put sea lanterns down here as well and then let's go ahead and fill in this back area with our obsidian there we go and then place in your water buckets here and this will give us an infinite water source as long as you take the water from the middle it will be infinite now we can go ahead and place in some chests right above that just to hide up the water a little bit so we don't have to look at it. So let's take out chests and trap chests. So chest here, chest here, chest here, chest here, and a trap chest right on top of it like that just to hide up the water. And then I like to place in some furnaces right in front of that water. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and place in an anvil right here and place in two brewing stations just like that. And that's going to be the side for all my crafting needs. Oh, you know what? I also forgot we need to put a crafting table right above it like that as well. And then over here to the left-hand side, I just put my bed in. And then I also changed this to a coal block right here. So it kind of uh, matches the walling. And then we're also going to need just an ender chest. So end chest right here. There we go. Ender chest. Place it like that. And boom. There we have it. This was the entire bunker in all of its glory. So let's go over everything before we actually leave the bunker. So we have our on and off nether portal right here. We have our auto farming. or Well, our semi-auto farming over here. We also have our auto armor equipped right here. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to put that or armor on right now. And then all of our other bunker needs. And then once we're ready to leave, just come here, click the button, and we'll be launched out of our bunker like nothing is there. And then, like I said in the beginning of the whole entire video, you probably should put some sort of landmarker if you have a bad memory of where it might be. Because like said, this is just in a big open field. So I like to just place like maybe a sunflower right off the front of the block that I have to stand on. So if I go right here and then throw my item at it, boop. I'll go down into my bunker. But there you guys have it. That's how you build an undetectable bunker inside of Minecraft. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.